Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we are now on Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Libras. What do they need to hear and know for this week? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Messages for Libras. What do they need to hear and know for this week? Yes, messages for Libras. Okay, okay. They're falling out. Hmm. Whew. We've had a lot of reversals in the readings for today. And I'm telling you, they're coming in hot. So, yes, there is something failing here. It could be with your family. There's something you feel, you may feel like something is just not working anymore as far as like a home or your living situation could be with a family or a marriage or a relationship. You just feel like, like this is not working anymore. And you're trying to use your intuition. Like, what do I do now? How do I go from being in a marriage to being single? How do I go from being in a relationship with a person I was in love with to being single? And some of you are thinking, will I ever get married or am I just going to be single forever? It, you know, is it ever going to work out for me? That's what I feel, that energy. Yeah, because your passions are ignited. That's what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you've had to make a lot of sacrifices or you feel like you've been waiting on something to take off for prosperity to begin. Ace of Wands energy. You may be very passionate. See, there it is, the waiting game. You've been waiting for the fulfillment of your wishes. You've been waiting for your wishes to be fulfilled. And it seems like maybe things have not taken off yet or things are going south in a current relationship. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more about this energy for Libras. Tell me more about this energy, please, for Libras. Let's see what other messages come forth. Tell me more about this energy for Libras for this week. What came out? Ten of Cups. Yes, this has something to do with a marriage or a family situation. Absolutely. Tell me more, please. Okay, <laughs> before I can even get to it. Four of Cups. Someone is feeling rejected. You could be feeling rejected by a spouse or uh, a significant other in some type of way feeling rejected by your family. Yeah, there's something with the family that you feel rejected by. Some of you are rebelling against traditions. Maybe you have done something the same way all your life and you're ready to break free from that. I feel that energy as well, like rebelling against what you've always done or what you've always been taught to do. Why is wisdom in reverse? Ooh, why is intuition here? Mm. Why is the material harvest here? Did I show y'all the cards? I'm not sure if I showed y'all the cards, but yeah, I don't think I did. Mm. <sighs> okay, so let me just show you here. We have wisdom to come out in reverse. Okay, so I was feeling strongly that there is something here where... Because wisdom is the font, meaning some type of marriage or long-standing institution. Traditions, okay? And I feel like with the Queen of Wands coming out to ver or clarify that, I feel this energy of you are rebelling. Because the Queen of Wands, she rebels against anything that she doesn't want, okay? she She's a rebel. She can be a rebel. So... There could be a lot of anger surrounding a marriage, a home, a home situation. Maybe it's just not working out. Maybe you've been arguing too much with another person in the home. There's something like that. And you're just like, I'm tired. I'm on fire. I'm angry. I don't want to deal with it anymore. And then with the intuition card here, this is like the high priestess. And it goes from you like having a lot of secrecy, there being a lot of secrecy or unknowns. Now you're using your intuition and you, you're getting clarity now on what you want, okay, or who you want. 
It's like, I have clarity now with that ace of swords. It's like, it brings truth. It brings clarity and for you to start a new beginning. And I feel like some of you are starting a new beginning being single. Material harvest is also the nine of pentacles in traditional tarot, meaning a single person who's doing well for themselves by themselves with the two of cups. I feel like you are preparing yourself to find someone else. It's like whatever you used to be in or whatever you're currently in, you don't want that anymore. Maybe it's the traditional marriage with the white picket fence and, and the dog and the four kids. And, you know, maybe you're rejecting that now. Maybe you're saying, you know what? I don't have to be married or I don't have, I feel like your foundational things that you were taught growing up could possibly be changing now. Libra is an air sign. And so you are very intellectual. You're all about the thoughts. And so you could be thinking to do something very untraditional and may go against what your family has taught you or something like that. Some of you could be stepping out to, you know, uh, come out as gay or lesbian or something like that. Very untraditional. Okay. I feel that energy for some of you, but there's something here where you're like, you know what? I have a connection with someone and maybe I can just, you know, start dating a friend. Maybe I can connect with a friend and maybe I can just, you know, date around for a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be serious all the time, but I do know here what you're thinking is I'm done with that house. <laughs> you see how this person, this man is leaving this home behind. So someone could have left you recently, or you could have left someone recently. That situation is coming to an end or has already come to an end. Okay. And so th that tells me that it's like mm -mm, that long-term relationship that that's ended, that's over, or you are changing your mind as it relates to a long-term situation. Yeah, there you are. You becoming a, sorry for slamming that <laughs> you are becoming the king of swords. That's uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy right behind it. The hermit. Yeah. Oh, you may be keeping a lot of things to yourself behind it is the seven of swords. Yeah. You may be trying to secretly plan out what you want to do. You are manifesting. It's like, I have a plan and I'm going to put it into action. I see these cards here for you. And that's that energy. We have the magician back here manifesting on working out a plan eight of pentacles yeah hoping with the star card to sneak away seven of swords oh yes and you're not telling anyone with that hermit what you plan to do you're not telling anyone let's see what else okay look queen of swords popped up yeah see you're in king of swords and queen of swords your energy is matching another person. Something is not going right this week. Yeah, something is not going right. What's the outcome in this? What's the outcome this week? What's the outcome this week for Libra? Nine of... Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. Nine of wands. Whew. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Y'all... I just told you, this is the nine of pentacles. The outcome is you being single. You guys, you're breaking away from marriage or a long-term relationship. Maybe you were with someone for the last, you know, six months, seven months or something, nine months even. Some of you have been together with someone for nine years or more. But there's something here at the nine of pentacles with you wanting to set yourself free. And this may cause heartbreak a lot of heartbreak for someone. You may have to break someone's heart. They may have broken your heart, but I can tell you with the nine of pentacles being clarified twice that someone is choosing to go their separate ways. It's like both being single, both of you are being single. It's almost that feeling like, well, you know, I'll always, you know, have a certain love for you, but I just can't do this anymore. I can't do it anymore. What's the advice for Libras? What's the advice here for Libras? Advice? What's the advice? Remain positive. Yes. At the bottom of the deck, it's up to you. 
remain positive because this is something hard. This is not going to be easy for you. And I feel it. There's a lot of hurt and pain. This could have been with someone that you really loved, really cared about. And it's like, you're trying to remain positive, but it's hard. It's very difficult. And it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do ultimately. If you want to work it out, work it out. You know, if this person is willing to work it out and you want to work it out, go to counseling, do what you need to do. And if it's a family situation, maybe you have to open up, open up emotionally and talk, but remain positive. Whatever you choose to do, remain positive. Alrighty, Libra. So that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you, Libras. I do hope you take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.